Good afternoon, class. In today's video, what I'd like to do is to go over what I'm about to attempt in, um, in the world of craziness that is Mr. Two's Physics and Chemistry Corner. What I'm going to do this year is I'm going to try a food challenge. I'm going to go to Ina Grill, and they have the six-pound locomotive burrito where you get to have about 30 minutes to attempt to eat it all. It's about it's a six pounds, and I'm going to try my best to eat all of that food within the time limit. I have a few strategies for this, and I'm going to go over them in a little bit, but I did want to at least say this is what's going to happen. I'm pretty nervous about it. I've never done a food challenge before, so this will be definitely a new thing for me. I also wanted to um, point out that I'm going to try and use some physics and some chemistry to try and give me, some, give me the upper edge and allow me to win. We'll see how that goes. Here's my strategy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to recognize something from this picture here about the digestive system. The stomach can expand into however much it needs to. However, one of the things that happens is there is a limited number of space, as you can see right over here. There's a, there's a limited num amount of space that my stomach can expand because there is a, a definite volume to my body. I can't actually expand my stomach to proportions that are not natural or are outside of make, would make my skin stretch or something like that. So what I would do is in this case, I would, I would take the idea of giving myself as much room to fill it with food as best I can. And the way I'm going to do that is the night before, I'm just not going to eat anything that entire day. I'm going to be completely fasted. And the reason why I do that is because I want to make sure my stomach is as small as possible and also that it is as empty as possible. And the reason why I want it to be as empty as possible is because then all of my other organs, like my small intestine over here, my large intestines, all of those have room to expand, especially if I've had a chance to um, get rid of all of the um, food that I've had from the previous day and not have anything else being in, in the digestive system here, it'll, it'll allow those organs to actually get pushed, up, pushed down a little bit more. Um, it'll help me to expand um, all the way up to the outer limits, which is basically my rib cage. So that's what I'm hoping for to make sure my, that my stomach over here can expand as much as possible so that I can fit the most amount of food that I can so that hopefully, hopefully, I can win this challenge. So here we are at the wonderful Ina Grill. Shout out to Ina Grill for all of their support. Right here, what you can see is the six pound locomotive burrito challenge. Right now, it is three ma uh, piles of mac salad. It has um, cheese sauce on top. It has um, hamburger gravy, uh, fried onions, as well as about six fried eggs, six hamburger patties, and several pounds of rice in there. What you'll notice is that my lips is not, are not actually matching up with all of the um, the video that's going on. And the reason for that is because there was a little bit of music in the background that I had to, unfortunately, take out of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just showing, I'm doing a voiceover to show what's happening. And as you saw, right there was the first loss of the night with my fork just breaking. So there we go. And now it begins the taking on of this epic challenge. At first, I'm starting to make some pretty good time. I'm going in there, you know, hitting up all of the rice eating as much as I can, trying to look for that first hamburger patty. Ah, and there I found it. However, you know, I, I was working on it and working through all of the, the eggs and the hamburger patty, which was very delicious, by the way. And I'm doing pretty good at that point. This is the point where I ask for some water because I've seen challenges, food challenges in the past and of course they ask for water. So I thought, oh, that was a good idea. My son earlier had asked for some water. And so that's why I was I was saying maybe I should get some too, because that would only make sense. So as we continue with the rice, there I am packing down the rice. And now I'm hitting that second hamburger pack, patty. 
I'm also trying to make sure that I take into account all of the egg yolk on there because I don't want to leave too much of a mess. I want to make sure that there is um, no doubt that, that that I did finish it and that, that some of the, um, if there's any egg left, they wouldn't count that against me. And as you can see, I am halfway through. Whew, I'm, I feel like I'm rocking it at this point. Eat, celebrating with a little bit of mac salad there. But I'm also feeling pretty good. Like on my stomach at this point is maybe, it feels 50% full. So, you know, with my confidence high, I take on the next part of the challenge. I'm starting to get some a little bit full. You know, now I'm at about 60 to 70% full. So I cut this... I cut the piece a little bit more. It was at this point, right at that exact moment where I shook my head, where I started to hit the wall. At first I was like, you know, at first I was one bite, I was feeling fine, I was totally rocking it, and then, boom, I hit the wall, and that was where you saw my reaction, where I said, oh, this is really gonna be hard. I did not expect that wall to hit that early, and that hard so but I do have to admit there was a lot of appreciation at that moment for all of the training that those professional food eaters go undergo because they they really have to work hard because th that wall when you hit it it is no joke I think I never noticed it in the past because I wouldn't be focused solely on eating. All I would be doing was eating, talking, taking way longer than 30 minutes to try and actually finish this challenge. But as you can see here, oh, I'm already, you can see it in my face. This wall is getting harder and harder. I was at maybe 70% full right before I hit the wall and I immediately went up to about 80%. Every single bite, it's like, 5% more, 5% more. I'm trying at this point to talk and stall just a little bit. I'm starting to also get the idea, hmm, maybe this might be not doable for me tonight. So I'm trying to see what I can do. As you can tell, I'm getting really, really full. I can hardly concentrate on anything. Most of what I'm thinking at this point is... Please don't throw up. I know that sounds really gross, but I am re I really wanted to win this. But now I'm starting to realize, well, maybe a couple more bites, maybe a little bit more rice. I think I can do it. Maybe if I just let, slow my pace down, I can just keep going and maybe I can overcome it. I have time. The guy in charge said I had about 15 to 10, 10 to 15 minutes left. So at this point, I've got a couple more bites here. I'm looking at that hamburger patty and I'm like, I'm gonna eat this and I'm thinking I can do it. I, I'm, I'm like the, the um, I'm like the little engine that could. I think I can, I think I can. But after that last bite right there, that's when I realized, no, if I take any more, I'm going to barf. So I waved the white flag to say that I submit it was a really delicious challenge. However, it was just not my time to win. So now it's time to go into the re reflection stage of what happened during this challenge. So I lost, I, that did not go very well. However, I've had a few days to reflect on it. And one of the things that I thought I'd do is I'd go over the physics of why I think I lost and some of the strategies that I'll have to employ for next time. So in, on the physics side of all of this, what I felt was as the food was going into my stomach, which is something I felt multiple times throughout my life, I eat every day. So I, feel, I know what it feels like to have my stomach getting full. What I didn't account for was all of the air that I would swallow as I was eating all that food. And that built up a bunch of extra, basically a pocket of air that was not filled with food. And that made me feel full while I was going through this challenge. So what I, and, and I, of course, I knew this strategy. I, I guess I was just being stubborn or naive, maybe. I didn't order any soda. 
I didn't do anything that would allow me to, you know, put carbonation down there, down in my stomach so that I could burp out all of the excess air that was being put into my stomach. So, you know, live and learn. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to make sure to have like a Diet Coke ready or something like that so that I can then drink that and it'll help not only, you know, keep my throat from drying out, but it'll also help me to burp up any excess gas so that I can fill my stomach with food and not air. So that's one of the things that I need to work on for next time. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to Mr. 2's Physics Corner and Chemistry Corner. Have a great rest of the day. I'll see you in the next video.